Gentlemen, I gave you instructions downstairs. Remember, protect yourselves at all times. Keep punches up. Remember, bone here on up. So punches here are fine. Okay? Shake hands. Good luck to both of you. In our first fight, Rios and Alvarado, you saw the best of the blue collar, blood and guts warrior side of boxing. In this fight, especially with Nemito Donaire, but also with Nishioka, we expect to see the sublime, the upper echelon of Ready. skill Ready. and speed Ready. and power that the sport has to offer. Round number one begins. Each boxer with six first round knockouts in their career. Won't even see a shot to throw the hook. That basic target practice at it. That was a. <laughs> <laughs> Nishioka believes Donaire's left hook is what he has to watch for. Donaire believes Nishioka's open for that. Starts him with a straight right hand. Yeah, well, what Donaire should do right now is throw a straight right hand to the body some. Since Nishioka has their left hand, has his right hand, make him reach for the right hand, then hit him with an overhand right. That probably with the skill level of I don't need to go now, so, you know. And Robert Garcia, the trainer of Donaire, was thinking along with you, Roy. He said, look, he's got that right hand glued up to his head. Let's throw a straight right hand. That's there. exactly right. you got to open up something with the left hand. But Nishioka's used to win it. And eight years since he lost. But he is 36 years old. He contemplated retirement before this fight. Omar Narvaez was undefeated with a bunch of title defenses. He wouldn't open up against Donaire. And Nishioka, so far, seems intimidated by Donaire's, Donaire's power. Yeah, but he's waiting to get a good shot in before he throws anything. He's kind of smart like that. He's trying to kill this fight. He's more worried about Donaire's power. So he's respecting it so much that he's not coming. Roy, you know, Donaire's got all the weapons and all the tools and all the speed, but Nishioka's fighting so defensively. Part of Nishioka's thinking here to get him frustrated and make him make a mistake where I can counter it. Exactly. Make him make a foolish mistake. Make him get over anxious because he knows that the crowd now wants to see activity. That's what they see in the first fight. So if you don't put in the copy box, Donaire's connects were all steps in with that right another right hand. There's a shot that I've been looking for all night because he was beating his right shoulder. And I beat his right shoulder so bad that they had to stop the fight because of injury to his right shoulder. So if I was Donaire, I'd be hooking his right shoulder. As we check in with our unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman. Okay, Bob, I've got a 3 to nothing, 30 to 27, no need of Donaire. I mean, as I see this fight, he's doing all the punching. The problem with Nishioka is he's, he's not punching enough. And you know, up with a combination there. Nishioka back to that defensive shell. There's the hand speed of Donaire. So we begin round number five of the schedule, 12 rounder. Benito Donaire opens up with a combination. Last couple fights, it looked like he tried to force things a little more, and so he didn't have the success he's having to full-minded fighter. Yeah, you're right there, and uh, the only thing you gotta remember is that Nishioko is not worried about nothing but trying to Triples up the jab, shoots the right to the body, steps in with a power shot that just missed. So far, he's totally outclassing. Unless it's a pop shot, like that right hand was. Good jab from Nishioka. Donaire steps in with a combination. Back with the left. You know, counter 
punching opportunity. Great right hand by Donaire. Nishioka landed the left hand of the body. Nishioka seems like he's starting to warm up a little bit. Well, he certainly had ample time to warm up. <laughs> We're in round six. It's cold outside. Nishioka's holding that left right hand so how his head, Donaire got smart and came under it, and it came right between both hands with the left uppercut. Beautiful shot to sit in this Right hand from Donaire, Nishioka steps in with the left, Donaire Canadas with his left. Jab from Nishioka, Donaire jumped in with his power shot. And this Nishioka, jab from Nishioka. Yeah, he does have quick hands. You miss to fight that way. Most definitely, yeah, because of the hand speed. Count of right hand from Donaire after Nishioka lands the left. Donaire shoots a straight right. Good left hand by Nishioka. Again, yeah, steps in with a little combination to the chin of Donaire. Donaire answers back with the right hand. He is truly a winner. He didn't come all the way over here to lose the fight. So now that he's at it, he's feeling like since I'm in here, I'm getting hit. Wow. There they go, opening up power shot. This Yoko is throwing home run bombs, and he's willing to take them to try to land his own. It's not a bad idea. Not bad at all. So then has to be careful walking in and throwing a double cup, too. Now. Left hand to the body by Donaire scores. That one is blocked. Nishioka steps in with a combination. And this is what Nishioka starts to do around the Oh, down goes Nishioka with a counter shot. Five, six, seven. I'm sure you're okay, hey. Coming into this body, he's been down three times in his career, down twice, and now the referee steps in and stops it. Shit on that in just a second. Here's the counter shot from Donaire, Roy. Yeah, he allowed Nishioko to open up some by backing up. And once Nishioko did, he made himself wide open for the left, for the straight right hand, which he really had been all night long had he been in the attack. But because... Ladies and gentlemen, referee Raul Caiz Sr. steps in and calls a halt at about the official time of 1 minute 54 seconds of round number 9. The winner by TKO victory, and still the WBO Junior Featherweight Champion of the World, the Filipino Flash, Nonito Donnie. 